For larger Word documents, usually those that exceed 15 pages, adding a table of contents can make it much easier for readers of the document to find the information they are seeking. However, the thought of manually creating a table of contents is likely not attractive to most Word users. Likewise, the task of maintaining the table of contents as the document changes and page numbers update is also not appealing. Fortunately, Word provides a feature that generates a table of contents automatically, and in this tip, you will learn just how easy it is to put that tool to work so that you no longer have to create your tables of contents manually. To create a table of contents using Word's built-in tool, you must first format your document properly based on Word's Styles feature. By default, every bit of text you enter into a Word document inherits the formatting characteristics associated with the normal style. However, for most major and minor heading sections, you should apply Word's Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, etc. styles, depending upon the relative importance of each section heading. The Word document currently shown on screen provides an illustration of how styles can be used to format major and minor heading sections in a Word document. In this case, one Heading 1 style is used, and two Heading 2 styles are used to create subheadings underneath the Heading 1 style. To apply a style to text, begin by selecting the text in Word, and then from the Home tab of the ribbon, simply choose the style you wish to apply to the selected text. Returning to our first illustration, Assuming you use Word's Heading 1 through Heading 9 styles to format your major and minor section headings and subheadings in the document, the process for creating the table of contents is extremely simple. All that is required is for you to position your cursor where you want the table of contents to appear, and then from the References tab of the ribbon in Word, choose Table of Contents. Next, choose from any of the predefined Table of Contents, and as you can see, Word automatically inserts the table of contents directly into the document. Note that the default hierarchy for the table of contents is that all Heading 2 style content is indented underneath a Heading 1 style, all Heading 3 style content is indented underneath Heading 2's, Heading Style 4 content is indented underneath Heading Style 3, and so on. Notably, all that is necessary to update the table of contents as the document changes is to return to the table of contents and click Update Table. Likewise, you could simply right-click inside the table of contents and choose Update Field. While most Word users likely create their table of contents currently using laborious and time-consuming manual processes, as you can see, that need not be the case. In fact, Assuming you format your document using Word's Styles feature, creating a dynamic table of contents, one that updates on demand, requires only a few clicks of the mouse. So the next time you need to insert a table of contents into a Word document, be sure to take advantage of this great feature.